updating a plan. Has your academic advisor created a semester by semester plan for you in DegreeWorks, but you are unsure how to open it? In this video, we will cover how to view and update an academic advisor created plan in DegreeWorks. After logging into DegreeWorks, click on the Plans tab. This screen lists any plans either you or your academic advisor have created. If you click on the Plans tab and see this pop up, that means you do not have a plan yet. You can begin working on a plan on your own to show your academic advisor when you meet with them, or you can contact your academic advisor. We will link to the video about creating a plan below. If you do have a plan, you will see the name of the plan and whether or not it is active. Your official plan should be marked as active. You can also see the date of when your plan was last modified and saved and who made those changes to your plan, the degree type, and then you will see if your plan is locked or not. Locked plans cannot be changed by a student, however, a student can make a copy of a locked plan and save changes to that. We will show you how to do this later in this video. All students who have seen an academic advisor should have one active and locked plan. This is a plan you should be following. If you have more than one active and locked plan and are unsure which you should be following, contact your academic advisor. To open your plan, click on the plan and then select a view. Since you want to update your plan, select the edit view. You can add a course a few different ways. First, if you know the course subject and number, you can type it in directly. Let's say you want to add Intro to Psychology to Fall 2018. Go to the Fall 2018 term and click the plus sign, then Course. As you can see, a new row has been added. Now type in Psych 1013. The course is now added to the plan. Maybe you know the name but not the course number. You can do a search by clicking on the plus sign and then Course, and in your new row, click on the magnifying glass. Say you want to add Intro to Women's Studies, so in the title, start typing Women's Studies. All courses with that in the title will begin populating below. Then select the course you are looking for. The final way to add a course is from the Still Needed menu. To access this menu, click on the small triangle on the right side of the screen. This menu shows you requirements you have not passed and are not currently registered for that are needed for your degree plan. Let's say for Fall 2018, you want to add a class that will satisfy a Life and Physical Sciences core requirement. A list with all class options that will count for that requirement will be listed below the name. You can click on any of the courses to open up a course description to find out more about the course. Once you decide on a course, you can click and drag and drop it into the Fall 2018 term. To refresh the menu, select the Refresh button. You can collapse the menu by clicking on the triangle once again. If you would like to delete a course, click on the course you want to remove from the plan. Next, click on the minus sign in that term. The course has now been removed. Some requirements may say you need to pick one class from five different options. If your academic advisor doesn't know which course you will take, they may add a placeholder. You can recognize these from regular courses because there will be an X in the course number. Here, an academic advisor has put CRJ XXX3. This means you can pick any three-hour criminal justice course to satisfy this requirement. After reviewing the catalog, this student has decided to take Investigations, which is CRJ 3123. Go to the placeholder course, delete the CRJ XXX3, and type in CRJ 3123. It is important to update any placeholder courses with an actual course as soon as you decide which course you are taking. UTSA runs reports using data from the plans to send to departments to let them know future course demand so they can plan accordingly. If you would like to start planning for a future term not on the plan, you can add a new term by clicking on the plus sign at the very top of the plan and selecting the term you want to add. You can now see the new term. You can easily move a course from one term to another by clicking on the course you want to move and dragging and dropping it into a different term. 
If your plan is locked, you will not be able to save changes to that plan. Instead, you will create a copy of the Academic Advisor created plan and save changes there. To do this, the first thing you may want to do is change the title of your plan as a way of differentiating it from your Academic Advisors. This is not a requirement since your name will be on your plan, but it can be helpful. You can add to the current name and put Student Updated or that the plan goes through a certain term. After you make your changes and updates to your plan, scroll down to the bottom. You will notice the Save button is grayed out. Remember, students cannot make changes to locked plans, but you can make a copy by selecting Save As. This allows you to be able to add to what was previously created with your academic advisor while leaving the original plan intact. When you go back to the View Plan screen by selecting View Plan, you will now see your plan in addition to your academic advisors. It is important to keep in contact with your academic advisor. If you make a change to your plan, email your academic advisor to let them know that you made updates. They can review your new plan and give feedback about your changes. It is a good idea to review your plan before an appointment with your academic advisor. For more videos about DegreeWorks, visit our website at utsa.edu slash DegreeWorks.